Matt Lawfley's need to explain his today firing to teenage son Jack in person report. Not long after he was fired from the Today Show following allegations of sexual misconduct, Matt Law reportedly left Neek to drive out to the Hamptons on Wednesday, Nof. 29. Page 6 reports that the 59-year-old TV veteran made the commute so he could pick up his 16-year-old son, Jack, from school and explain his termination in person. Matt's first thought was that he needed to explain this to his son Jack in person, as it would be far more painful for him to read about it in the press and online, a source said on Wednesday. Matt drove out to Jack's prep school this morning. According to the outlet, Matt and Jack whom the foreign news anchor shares with wife Annette Rock are very close, which is why he wanted to be the first to share the news with his eldest child. Matt is also the dad of daughter Amy, 14, and son Dice, 11, with Annette. The former model and their children live full-time on Long Island, while Matt previously spent the majority of his weeks in Manhattan working on Today. However, it seems as though the once-beloved broadcaster will be spending a lot more time at his family home in the next coming months. As previously reported, NBC let Matt go after a female colleague told the network's HR department that he sexually harassed her years ago. Since then, more evidence of Matt's troublesome behavior has resurfaced online including a clip from 2006 in which he is seen telling his co-anchor Meredith Vieira to keep bending over like that because it's a nice view. And, in 2012, Katie Garrick told Watch What Happens Live host Andy Cohen that Matt repeatedly pinched her butt on the set of Today. According to Variety, Matt once gifted a female colleague a sex toy and included an explicit note about how he wanted to use it on her. And he even reportedly exposed his genitals to a female employee who did not want to partake in a sexual act for which was, was reprimanded. On Thursday morning, Matt apologized for his actions in a statement. There are no words to express my sorrow and regret for the pain I have caused others by words and actions. To the people I have hurt, I am truly sorry, he said. As I am writing this I realize the depth of the damage and disappointment I have left behind at home and at NBC. Some of what is being said about me is untrue or mischaracterized, but there is enough truth in these stories to make me feel embarrassed and ashamed. Matt continued, I regret that my shame is now shared by the people I cherish dearly. Repairing the damage will take a lot of time and soul-searching and I'm committed to beginning that effort. It is now my full-time job. The last two days have forced me to take a very hard look at my own troubling flaws. It's been humbling. I am blessed to be surrounded by the people I love. I thank them for their patience and grace.